This video from Shop Stuff, we're looking at the ER900 series registers, in particular we're looking at the 940 and we're just going to run through how to set up tax rate 2 to be 5% add in tax and we're also going to demonstrate how to apply that tax rate to some PLUs on your register. A couple of disclaimers first. Um, this is dealer level programming, what I'm carrying out now, so we'd always recommend that you have this done by your cash register dealer. Um, if you can't, if that's not viable, then by all means please follow the video, but the one thing I'd say is follow the video all the way through, watch it to the very end before you start your programming so you understand exactly what I've done. And also when you come to do it on your register, uh, don't do it when the pub's open or the shop's open, uh, and then apply it to one product sell that product, run a report, and double check you are 100% happy um, with, with what I'm doing and that you understand what I'm doing because you are ultimately responsible as the merchant for your um, tax settings on your register. So this is a tutorial of how to do a certain thing. It's not me acting on behalf of the government or anything like that. Okay, so that out of the way. Um, all this information I have got from the manual so it's readily available there. Um, it's, it's a fairly long-winded procedure because effectively I'm doing three things in one video. I'm setting up a tax shift to button, which is a temporary button that you need to create in order to program the second tax rate. I'm then going to program that tax rate to be 5% add-in because value-added tax is added in. And then I'm going to show you how to apply um, that tax rate to a couple of PLUs. Obviously, when I apply the rate to the PLUs, you're using the status program in. Um, so if you've got access to the manual, if you look under 100 subtotal, um, that'll show you that I'm not just programming the tax rate for that PLU, I'm programming several other functions. So again, be very careful. I might be programming the buttons a slightly different way to how you want yours set up. So again, I'd, I'd refer to the manual um, as well, because you can adjust the code that I put in. So, okay. Without any more waffling on, I'm going to get straight to it. We have on the 900 series, you're looking for the metal key marked C because we're doing function key relocation to start with and you turn it around to the service position. So this is where we create the tax shift to button. So the way we do this is we pick a button on the um, function side of the keyboard that we don't need um, permanently and we use that to create the tax shift function. So it's 70, subtotal, 204, which is the code for the tax shift 2 button, and then you press your spare function button if you've got one. Um, I'm going to use um, percentage 2. And then to save it, you press the cash amount 10 button. So you get a little printout confirming that you've set this button to be tax 2. Now what you need to do is to program the rate to be 5%. Obviously you can, where I put in five, if you're changing it to a tax for a different country or a different region or a different time period, just put in whatever the rate is instead of where I put in five. So tax rate programming is done in the PGM mode, so you need to turn the key around to PGM. For 5% value added tax, five dot, and you must press the dot, zero, 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 you need to enter all those zeros. 2 means it's value added tax which means that if you sell £5 through the register that £5 is inclusive of VAT, the till is not going to add any tax on. You then press 0, you then press the VAT2 shift button which you just created which I've used percentage 2 and then you press the cash amount 10 or cash button to save it. So again we get another printout, I'll just show you where we're up to now. So the first printout was percentage two is now tax two, and then tax two is VAT, value added tax, at 5%. So the last thing we need to do is assign that tax rate to some PLUs. The way you do this, in the program mode, you go into the PLU status, which is 100 subtotal. You press either the individual PLU you're programming, which is what I'd recommend first time round to check that you're happy, or what I'm gonna do is press a range of PLUs. So I'm gonna apply mine, just for this video, to Guinness, 
all the way up to wine bottle. So it's going to program these PLUs here. If I wanted to do amp still to the end, I press amp still and then my bingo dabber button here. Now you've pressed your PLUs that you want to program to this status. I'm now going to type in my status code. Remember yours might vary slightly, but mine is 0, 1. The 1 is telling it to apply tax rate to. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. You'd need to press all the zeros because the machine is expecting nine statuses, nine instructions of how to control that PLU. You then press your quantity time or X time button, followed by cash once it's printed everything out. And then you might need to press cash a second time. No, you don't need to. You can turn the key back around to the reg position now. Um, then you can have a quick look at your printout. This would be very useful actually. So it's confirming the, the PLU status. So it's saying I've programmed PLUs 15 to 20. I've got them set as preset but I'm allowing a preset override. If I didn't want preset override, then the code would be slightly different. I think I'd be putting in a two instead of a zero at the very front, but that's where you need to refer to the instruction manual because obviously there's so many different statuses that you can set for a PLU. I can't possibly cover them all in the video. The key thing we're looking for here is to make sure that taxable by one is set to no and taxable by two is set to yes. Um, so we can now, um, we're in the reg position, so it's only affected these buttons. So we've got there, this again, yours may not show on the receipt, but mine does. It's got the taxable amount um, showing on there, tax two is on the receipt. And then when I do my end of day report, uh -huh, one subtotal, I'm expecting to see um, I'll probably have two tax totals. Can't remember if I've got tax one. No, I haven't set tax one up on this machine. But if I had have done, I'd now have two tax totals. Whereas for now, I've just got the one tax total showing for tax two. Okay, I hope that video has made sense. Uh, you can message me through YouTube. Uh, please note this uh, channel is uh, online support only. You can't ring us unless you've ordered your till from us and we've programmed it for you. In which case, you'll have a tech ID support number. So if you do call us, please make sure you've got that number to hand. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we're posting as many videos as we can on the new VAT settings um, with the emergency tax rate for hospitality. So we'll do more model specific ones as we go along. Thanks for watching.